Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and on this video I wanted to talk about my interpretations of the movie Room and first off I want to say that this is basically going to be a spoiler review so what I suggest doing if you've not seen the film I will link the I will link the video here where um, you can check out my review that doesn't spoil anything and yeah Basically, because because this movie gives me so much to talk about, yet I was kind of restrained in my review because there was just too much that I couldn't talk about, like the supporting cast, like the like, like the like basically just what I took from the movie because it's just an experience that I think that you need to take for yourself. So the the most simplistic answer I can give to you here that. I interpreted I interpreted this movie as I I I took it as a story about unconditional love and and also the the bond between the mother between a mother and the child and also the just an unbreakable family bond that the movie kind of kind of solidifies at the end for me and I thought that I thought this was so beautifully done and one of the one of the first things I noticed that's a common theme in this movie is is the um, is the way it portrays innocence and childhood and stuff in this movie because you see not only did Jack lose five years of his childhood of a normal childhood but also his mother she 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 was kidnapped when she was when she was 15 i think and you know so she's still basically a kid when she walks out of there because she doesn't get to experience the same things that a young adult would you know she she lost she lost seven important years of her life and it's just so heartbreaking when you find out the truth of what's going on because of because of how because of how the the two bond together and how she protects him, and I feel as well that not only the the second half of this film in particular, I thought was really powerful because it really expressed the sense of loss that the family were all feeling at the time. And I'm going to talk about the supporting performances in a minute because I feel it needs to be addressed in this film, but. You know the first thing that the grandmother does, played by Joan Allen, she she runs and hugs her daughter, and then she says to she she says to Jack, "Thank you for saving my little girl." You know, it's just it's just a, such a beautiful, real moment that you know I feel would probably happen in real life in a situation like that. And McCamus, who's who plays as her partner, you know, he he also forms a bond with Jack and you know the the way these two the the way the way they they all form a bond together is just so it just feels so real and poignant in this film. I just love the friendship between Jack and Leo because it just it's just done in such a simplistic way in my opinion and you know that it is like he's basically stepping in at, in in as the grandfather because his grandfather didn't want to know him. So yeah, I want to talk about the grandfather here as well, but well, I, I will. But I want to say that I think that this film basically it basically portrays the worst and the best in humanity so perfectly because you know you see so much of the worst right in front of you. You see, you see the fact that she's raped for seven years. You see the fact that that the media. A hound in the family. You see the fact that the grandfather, played by William H Macy, betrays his grandson and turns his back on him. And it's like he blames the grandson because of where he's from, and he, you know he's a product of rape. And this was just so infuriating to me because I just, I just, I hated this guy. I really hated him because it made me so angry. Because people really do things like that. They blame the child for something that's not their fault, and I found this just so shocking, the way the way the film did it. But it was shocking and honest at the same time, and I I I just couldn't uh, 
I couldn't fathom the idea of ever blaming a child for, uh, for, for rape and things like you know. It's just horrible. And but at the same time, unfortunately, it really happens. And it's obvious that he obviously felt that it was an important part film to be a part of because William H Macy only takes part in a few scenes in this film, and then he goes away and. You know he does. He he goes gets along with his life, and you know. But you know, for the lit for the little screen time he has, I thought he was excellent in this film because, because of the way the way he portrays this character, and you know because he's such a selfish man, and all he thought about this whole time when his daughter was kidnapped with him was himself, and you know it was he just portrayed that so well. So yeah, the. You know, basically, the other thing is with the media as well, because I don't know how many times I have heard it where somebody will say, well, hang on, if the mother was doing this, why didn't she do this for the child? Or, you know, because she asks she asks this specific question where he goes, well, why didn't you get it where the abductor could have taken the baby to the hospital? And, you know, you could have made the ultimate sacrifice. It was just... It just made me so angry the way she did it, because... For a start off, how would you know that the baby would be safe in the hands of the abductor? Abductor for a start, you know, it's just it's just a ludicrous comment. And but un- unfortunately, people really are that ignorant in this world. And you know, it people really would ask that question, and it's shocking. And it's just portrayed in just a real realistic light. And you know. I just, I just couldn't believe what I was hearing when I was seeing that interview. But that's just how, how the world is. That's how society is. Sometimes, sometimes we quit. We're quick to judge before we even know what the situation is. And unfortunately, we are prone to doing that. And I wish we wouldn't. But again, I'm going to go back to the point of the family bond thing because I think that this is the most key, essential thing in this film because with without without a believable relationship between Brie Larson and Jacob Tremblay this movie wouldn't have worked and it's just it's just so believable because you you see what they do for each other to keep each other alive and keep each other going and you know one of the things the mother does for for Jack is she she has it where she creates this kind of a world where she makes up these stories for Jack, and what it does is it gives him this it gives him this it, it gives him this world it, it gives him some aspects of his childhood because you know you see he has a wonderful vivid imagination because of the because of the way the mother brings him up in 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 these conditions and I touched upon the feelings of attachment in my original review because it was something that was so strikingly beautiful the way it was done in this film because you know the fir- the very first scene of this film is where is where Jack is saying hello to every inanimate object he refers to the room as room he calls the sink sink you know it's 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 a very unusual thing for a child to do and you know you you these opening scenes are so beautiful because it it does have kind of a playful way about it because you see you see how they interact with each other you see how they're bonding you see you know you see that she still puts aside all of the misery she's feeling for her son and it's just beautifully done in this film for me and once once she leaves that house you see she she mentally breaks apart because because she feels all this guilt because because she doesn't feel like she did a very good job bringing up her son because he didn't have a normal childhood and then you get you get the media asking her horrible questions like why didn't you do this and why didn't you do that which reinforced to her that that she didn't she didn't do the right things and then she winds up almost killing herself because of it and you know this, this. Some of this is just so heart wrenching. I mean that that scene with the interview made me sick to my stomach the way it was done because because it's just it's just horrible. You, ha- I hate 
I really hate judgmental people because it's not their place to judge anyone for how they for how they do things and you know but unfortunately that's what happens in real life the unity basically pulls through because back to the attachment thing jack is a uh, jack is attached to rune because i took it as the fact that he was attached to rune because of the fact that that was all he knew for 5 years of his life but I kind of had a different feeling about it the second time I saw this film because I realised just how poignant the ending was because it's not that he's... it's not He isn't attached to it because that's all he knew. He's attached to it because of the world the mother created for him. So his memories of this place, he's happy. And, you know, it, it was his place where... Where he was creative, he, he imagined things, he, he created this world for himself because of the way his mother protected him. And I just thought that this scene at the end was just so beautifully done because you you see how how he how he comes back to, to room and then he suddenly realizes that it's not as good as he remembered it. He doesn't have that attachment to the room anymore when he returns to it because he realises that what he came out to where he bonds with his mother and he has a ha he has a good relationship with his grandmother and, you know, her partner. You know, what he has... And, of course, he has friendships now as well. It's... It, he realises that this... That this room... It just doesn't mean anything to him anymore whereas before it meant everything to him because... That was that was that was his world, and that was what what was created for him. And it ends with him saying goodbye to everything, and then, and then you know he says to his mother, "Say goodbye to room," and you know this, and then you just see her whispering, "By room," like that. it's just so so beautiful because you see what how it affects her too because she returns to room to basically confront confront her past and confront what happened to her you know she blames herself for the fact that her child didn't have didn't grow up with a normal childhood because of because of the horrible things that she went through it's a beautiful message where it's it's about letting go because she had to let go of her guilt because because she she realizes that her child was happy in those five years because of what she did for him and any mother would basically do anything to protect their child and she she does everything to protect Jack. She keeps old Nick who's who's the rapist and abductor. She keeps him she always keeps him away from Jack, so he you know, the story's basically being told from the point of view of the child and some of the dialogue in this as well. I mean, you know, ev Every bit of chemistry feels real in this film. There's not a single emotional moment in this that felt forced to me or felt like it was just shoehorned in or nothing. Everything just felt so genuine and real. And that's why this movie has such a has such a punch to it for me because I just I just think this was just this is just exemplary filmmaking it it really is it's just some of the it's some of the best storytelling i've come across in film in recent years and you know this this is why i just adore this film and i think that this is a film that really deserves more exposure because it's something so unique and different and i've i've never experienced a story like room so that's that's it for my analysis of the film and what did you take from this film and what did you think of it personally? Because I, I this film affected me so deeply and you know, I was welling up and I was I was an emotional wreck the first time I saw this film to be honest and it took me a few days just to be able to film a review for this film because I couldn't keep my emotions in check at the time and you know that's that's an example of how this how powerful this film really is. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this film and if you liked this video please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video.